Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we are out in the Colony, Texas, and we're installing a Red Atom landscape speaker system with a Sonos amp. Okay guys, so uh, we've got our uh, Red Atom Red 6 LAN speaker system. So that comes with four six and a half inch landscape speakers and a 12 inch burial sub. They've got a Red 4 LAN, which is four inch speakers. Um, and a 10 inch sub, we can mix and match, we can add on Red Atom speakers, um, however you want. This comes with um, 16 ohm speakers, 8 ohm subs, um, dual voice coil subs. So we can wire this in any number of ways. The speakers come with the stakes, as well as the two 6.5 inch speakers. These um, is a great, great deal. Uh, you can see it's actually a two-way speaker. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to come through. Uh, we'll see if we can get a better shot once we get them in. But it's this is a big, uh, big piece here. These sound great. Um, it's a great alternative to some of the other um, more budget-friendly speaker systems that are available. Um, that usually are a, um, a full-range driver, usually around a three-inch speaker. Um, this is just an incredible, incredible value here. Um, you can drive. Um, they claim six speakers and a sub off of a single Sonos amp or an 8-ohm sub or 8-ohm amplifier. So you can drive even more if you've got an 8-ohm or a 4-ohm stable amp. Um, and these will take a lot more power than even that. So they recommend at least 100 watts a channel. So um, we're digging the uh, trench and the holes right now. Um, forget the noise. The pool guys are still here. Um, they're just touching up a few things. Sod comes in. Um, uh, I believe tomorrow or the day after, so we wanted to beat that. Um, it just saves a lot of work, and they can lay um, the sod right on top. So um, what we're doing is we're going and we're comparing this around. We're going to dig underneath um, this uh, stone wall here. We're using ICE 14-4 uh, direct burial speaker cable. Uh, previously, this pool was being installed, obviously. Previously, they had some uh, cheap rock speakers out here, and uh, someone else had put... Um, just gone right through the wall into the media room on the other side of the wall here. <clears throat> so um, we are, we've already taken the silicone out. We're gonna put this proper and put um, conduit from here and go down into the ground. Um, this is 16 gauge cable as well. We're gonna use 14 gauge. So uh, we're gonna go and, and put that in conduit and protect it over here. We're gonna do one, two, uh, two speakers so that this is gonna be a nice sitting area. <clears throat> this is gonna go for the pool. This wall was added um, uh, in between our initial meetings. So we originally we're gonna have speakers along the back, but they'll just reflect uh, the sound now. So uh, where we're digging right there, we're gonna put a sub and we're gonna wire this in parallel so we can wire from the amp to the sub and then branch out from the sub to the speakers. We're gonna run an extra 14 gauge cable as well in case they wanna add on anything else, any additional speakers or anything. So um, we're gonna keep working and we'll update you along the way. All right, so forgive the wind noise. It's just a very windy day here. So uh, we've got the trench going all the way around. We're gonna go underneath that uh, flower bed there, but we've got the hole dug here. We've got the sub test fitted in here. So uh, we've got our bed layer of gravel down at the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and keep going. So we've got the trench going all the way down. Um, so we're gonna keep digging and uh, get our cable run. All right, so making some progress. Uh, we've dug out along the, the house here. Um, you see they're gonna build this up for the flower beds. Uh, we're gonna go underneath the flower bed here. So we're gonna have a basically speaker right here. So they've got some nice uh, sound for the uh, hot tub as well as the, um, <clears throat> the patio here. We're gonna go around and we're gonna have another speaker over here uh, to catch for, you know, come up from uh, the side for the pat or the hot tub as well as some uh, pool sound. On the other side over here, you can see we've got the trench. I'm gonna go and clean this out a bit more. We've been walking over it. The pool guys have been stomping it back down. But so we've got the subwoofer uh, mocked up in here. We're gonna have another speaker um, over in this area uh, for the hot tub, and we're gonna have another speaker over there. All right, so we're test fitting everything up and test wiring it. So we're getting one of the speakers in here, um, and we've gone ahead and started backfilling the, uh, the ground. And we're gonna go ahead and start getting the other speakers in place. So we got one speaker over here in the corner. Great uh, positioning for the um, patio over here and the seating area plus the hot tub. So we're trying to find a good compromise of all the speakers here in this kit. 
Um, we've got this one here. It runs uh, along the house here, it goes underneath the wall, and goes along this trench here. We have another speaker right here, again for this side from the hot tub. Going along here. We're working on cleaning up all the cables here and connecting everything, but we've got our subwoofer in the ground. We're gonna backfill that. We're starting to backfill this. We've got one speaker right here as well um, that we're putting in the ground for the patio here. Um, this is gonna be a nice seating area. And then this comes around here, all burial rated cable. We have an extra 14-4 run through here as well uh, in case they wanna add additional speakers or do anything differently in the future. So again, that goes through the conduit there. Here's our other speaker location here. And then again, we're gonna go up into the wall here shortly. All right, so we've got um, everything backfilled in here. We've got one speaker positioned here. Um, we said all this is coming out, they're putting in sod later this week. Um, wiring in the subwoofer right now, and which is distributed out to the speakers. Um, come back up over here, and we've got the other speaker right here. Next is we're going to go into the, I'm not sure how well this is coming through on camera, the sun's coming right in at it, but um, we're gonna um, come in with conduit and go straight down to protect the cable. Um, previous company did not do that to protect the cable, and we always try to um, in practice at this point. So we're feeding our cable through the conduit now. You can see we've got um, everything mocked up here. Uh, but basically, get around the trees here, you can see the previous customer or previous installer, um, I don't know if you noticed before, but the brick was all blown out. Um, so we have wallered this out with a little bit larger bit to uh, make it look nicer and fit the, um, the, the uh, box in there so that it fully seals in there. We can seal it with silicone much nicer than how it was previously. So uh, we're gonna have the PVC go straight down a few inches into the ground to, um, that way we can protect the cable um, from any um, uh, weed whackers or any other tools that come up here. Okay, so we're cleaning up here. Gonna give you a quick demo. It's actually really immersive all the way around, even with just the four speakers here. The ground is shaping right here. The volume is not up that loud. Um, but it's amazing how well this system works off of just the Sonos amp. And of course, we've got this all cleaned up back here. So most systems that you've seen us install, like the clip systems, those subs require a separate power amp just for the subs that typically need at least 250 watts to uh, f over 500 watts. So just for the subs, it's pretty incredible what you actually get out of just a Sonos amp in this system. Uh, it sounds great. The mid-range out of the uh, satellites actually is quite good. Um, and that sub just hits really, really nicely um, for a system like this. A great, great budget system um, for most backyards um, that we can set you up with. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in a system like this and you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Like I said, we're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you're interested in just equipment, of course, give us a call, a system design, anything like that. We're authorized retailers for all the equipment you see in our videos, Sonos, Red Atom, and all the other products you've seen. Please, again, please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at premediasystems.com. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos. Thanks, guys.